Okay, everybody. Welcome to uh, MMA Helps live stream of Kenny Florian's fundamental jujitsu class. We're here in Santa Monica, California. Thanks for joining us. Um, let your friends know if they don't catch the live stream, this will be archived on youtube.com forward slash MMA Help. And uh, anyway, class is about to begin, so here we go. Uh, ask your questions because uh, we will be taking them in the YouTube chat and asking Kenny afterwards. All right, here we go. Guys, let's line up. down ankle right behind the knees let's go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two 
Let's get some nice bridges going on over each shoulder. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Feel the mat. Feel the mat. Really extend your hips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome, guys. Let's shrimp on each side. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good guys, grab the collars. Nodding yes. Neck exercises. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Time to stretch something out, warm something up. All right, and we're going to go over some techniques. Oh, <laughs> I have to use this mic. All right, all right, here we go. What's up, guys? Uh, welcome to Meraki. Um, Thank you, thank you for tuning in. Uh, we have Victor uh, Silverio, um, one of our black belt instructors, and uh, Jason Hunt, who's a business partner who I started Meraki with. And um, yeah, honored to have you guys here. Hope you guys are able to, to learn some good stuff and have some fun. guys that I'm really making the X choke work uh, is to get a very deep initial grip. If this grip isn't deep behind the neck, the whole move really fails. So it's super important that we get as deep as possible. All right. And, and what does that mean? Where do we want to be? We want to have this thumb right in the middle of his neck. Right. So I want to line it up really with his spine. 
Okay. So um, the way we can do that, because, you know, especially guys start ducking their chin or they keep their head back up against the mat. So I can only go so far. So a good way for me to get that deep grip is just grabbing at the level of the shoulder, picking them off the mat. So now I can really climb up that collar and get that grip that I really want. Okay? It's always gonna be the sharp blade up against the carotid, right? It's not the, it's not this back of the wrist, it's the sharp blade, right? So I'm lifting up, sliding this in, and then I can put him back. If I stay directly above him, this is when I'm susceptible to getting rolled, right? So when you have this color, know that you are susceptible to being bridged over to this side. So just put your weight over here, overcompensate just a little bit. You can use your hooks here this way, right? To kind of stabilize yourself, right? And then we're gonna look for that second grip, all right? A second grip, right? It's gonna be a karate chop. Karate chop, and I like, there's a bunch of ways obviously we can go four fingers on the inside, we can go thumb on the inside, or we can just grab that cloth that's right here. But I wanna make contact. Again, sharp blade of the forearm, karate chop, I'm feeling the carotid here on the outside of my wrist, All right? I'm grabbing this grip, sorry, and um, I'm going to pull his head off the mat as I put my head right here at this angle on the shoulder because this is where he's going to escape. Right? The oop escape isn't him being here and rotating his body over here, just turn. That's not, that's not the escape. He doesn't turn to escape. He has to bridge over a shoulder, right? That's what gets me off, right? So I'm gonna stabilize myself with my big melon that I got, all right? So as I'm here, right, I'm, I'm, I'm putting my weight over here this way. Now I karate chop making contact here with my wrist on the neck. I still have this hook here just in case to save me, if you notice, right? He needs his feet on the mat if he wants to bridge. So this is gonna save me a little bit. Now from here, I'm lifting his head off the mat and I'm putting my head here to get the finish, making sure I'm really rotating my wrists here against the neck. So I'm getting the sharp blade of my wrists on his neck. Okay, lifting up getting it nice and deep. Sometimes you may have to shake them a little bit right, to get that grip. Right, now I get the grip. Okay, now I can settle into my position. Right, we want to keep position first. Right, stabilize myself. Come in. Making sure I'm tight here on the neck. Lift the head up as I get my head and put it right here in the corner. Cool? You got it, guys? Any questions? Let's do it, guys. One, two, three. Your head's gonna stabilize that position. There it is. Perfect. Good, I'm hearing popping. That's a good sign. So this thumb, you want to have this right behind your neck. 
Pull her up, yep, slide it in. And now if you feel like, you know what, I'm not deep enough, pull her up again and then shimmy that hand all the way down like you're climbing a rope. Even more, so see how it's kind of on the side? That's good, see if you can get that behind her neck. Yeah, yes, keep going, keep going, keep going, slide that in. Yep, better. So now, this is gonna be on the side of the body, so it's gonna be right there. Yep, now go for it. Pick her head off the mat and place your head right here on the shoulder. Perfect. Yeah, deeper in that way. Perfect. That, it makes it a huge difference. towards her neck and not on her neck. There you go. Just like that. Now put your weight over here. Right? You're gonna overcompensate yeah, a little bit. Otherwise she might she might bridge you off. Okay? Once you're ready, you feel like you stabilize your position, then karate chop and go for that choke. Yes. Elbows together. You look how quickly that kicks in. Thank you. Yeah, that's possible. I don't know if you can do that. I don't know if you can do that. 
good, guys. That's looking good. That's looking real good. Come on in, guys. It's just another way of finishing it, guys. It's the exact same thing. Again, there's a variety of ways to finish this. None of them are wrong. It's just really preference um, on, on what you like. So uh, another way to set this up, and I'm just going to go over another little detail for the finish, okay, is again, we're always getting this deep. How's this, guys? This deep? It's okay. It's not great. All right? I want to get this all the way in the back. I want to get that thumb behind his neck. I don't want to see my thumb. If you see your thumb, it's probably wrong. Okay, so really be precise with that, okay? Especially if you have the time. You don't have to rush your way through, all right? Just take your time. Make sure you get the grip that you want, okay? Now, from here, all right? Sometimes I'm gonna come in here and grab this way. I'm just gonna get my thumb on the outside of the collar. Here, from here, come all the way around. When I come all the way around, I'm tightening my elbow, making contact with my own form. Again, lifting the head off the mat and finishing just the same. If you find like it's a little loose, okay, it's a little loose, the guy has a good resistance or whatever it is, first of all, that shouldn't be the case if I do have a deep grip, but another little extra oomph on the attack. Again, I'm grabbing, putting my thumb in, just my thumb in, giving myself a little bit of space. I'm not touching my hand here. I'm giving a little bit of space, maybe a fist width between my two hands, okay? And I come around here. I do this because it's harder for him to see. It just looks like I'm just stabilizing the position and I'm waiting. And then I come around, making contact with my forearm. Another way, as I lift up, another little detail is just squeezing this here together. Like I want to touch my thumb to my hand, whether it's here, whether it's here, here, whatever it is. Getting my hands, my thumbs to touch this way or my thumb to touch my hand. So we get just a little bit more pressure on the carotid. So we're here, this way, stabilizing. Give a little bit of space here. All the way around, in, and I finish. Cool, let's play with that one a little bit, guys. One, two, three. You all right, Kev? Uh, you want a good one? Is that the right way? This is the right way. It really depends. It's like using Google Maps and using Waze. You both are getting into the same place. Right? <laughs> it's all about preference. It's true. Absolutely. I like that. I like that. I thought you were saying it's like Google Maps and Waze. You get lost either way. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know if you can talk about this in the phone. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> now you just lost your Google sponsorship. Yeah, I know. I know. That was our, that was our chance. <laughs> Mr. Gates, I apologize. Uh, you, you just failed again. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He owns Microsoft. That's right, that's right, sorry. Uh, who's the guy? Uh... That's a, that grip right there? Yes. Oh. Yep. Up and around. Tight. Yes. Now pick his head off the mat. Put your head on the mat. Nope. Where do you want to go? <laughs> He's going to bridge you here. Yep. On the shoulder. Yep. Very nice. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Because you don't have any, you don't have anything to post. You don't have side. Okay. Exactly. So you want to be to that side as much as you, as much as you can. Yeah. Until you actually switch for the opposite side, so then you can 
kind of like your place your weight. And then you want, and then you want the pressure on the chest all the time. All the time. Got it. Okay. Good world, dude. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Thanks, dude. It's pretty good, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why I look comfortable. <laughs> like a you know, rash guard now. <laughs> So the thing is, okay, so you got, you do have time for the first hand, now we're gonna, you might have time. You're gonna get your thumb, but when you bring your arm over, that has to be quick, because the guy's gonna be trying to block. Okay. That part, the guy's gonna be trying to block. So that has to be really quick. Okay. here try to finish the choke like it, to reach for it I have a nice little frame if I'm mount yeah when now I if you're forcing it then I bridge and okay you know, okay go into it so that's what I'm looking to do but it's really difficult yeah it's it, it, a proper X choke is a nice path to the submission whether it's the choke itself or it leading to an arm lock or we're gonna we're gonna work on a, on a gift wrap move and our next which I really want so. okay sweet thanks professor all right, guys, we're good. That's where John went somewhere. Cool, guys. So, you know, the, the reason why you want to have a, an X choke that's worth respecting is that even if you don't get the X choke, like the guy's just got crazy defense, or is it, it leads to other things. It leads to um, a path to submission in other ways, whether it's an arm lock or you know, a gift wrap move that we're going to do right now. So, um, you know, most of you guys see it co combined with uh, an arm lock from Mount, right? And, and the reason for that is in order for them to do a, a decent defense, they have to use their arms. Like, I don't know anyone who's going to defend in any other way. They have to use... They have to use their arms here in some way, shape, or form to really start pulling this down, right? Um, take the pressure off. Either, you know, sometimes they come inside here this way to block, right? A bunch of different ways. But in that process, anytime their elbow comes up, they're allowing me to control and maybe go to something else. And you guys have, have seen this. We've gone over this. Most of you guys should, should know this. But as they come up, right? Coming up here this way, sliding up bringing the arm up, getting into an S mount and going to the arm lock, right? We've seen that before. One move that I like a lot, um, and it, it, it's pretty efficient, I, I like it for gi and no gi, and, um, it's a good way to attack, is um, to get look for the gift wrap, okay? So when I'm here and I have this, this pressure in here, right? He knows the choke is coming or, or you know, I, I've tapped him before with the X choke, right? And he's going to defend here this way, okay? pulling it away or he's coming on the inside of my, my choke, right, exactly. His arm's up and, and, and away from his body, 
I'm using my hand right here behind the tricep and I'm pushing it across his body and I'm gonna use my body here behind his as I drive my knee up, okay? I wanna use my body here because I don't want him bringing that arm back out. If I just kind of do this and turn here, I'm not doing anything here. He's gonna put his elbow back. So I wanna set up a barrier here this way using my ribs here to push and now I'm going to feed. I'm still using my pressure of my chest to feed and get this gift wrap here. See, I have the wrist. All right, so I'm here. All right. From here, I'm going to use my hand here on the elbow, and I'm going to roll him on his side. Okay, I'm rolling him on his side. Once I roll him on his side, we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm actually going to fold his elbow now down towards his body. Okay. So from here, once I have this wrist, I'm controlling low at the wrist, I'm gonna start bringing this elbow down towards his chest, and I'm gonna reset by getting my chest behind his shoulders, all right? I'm gonna reset again, and before I drive this elbow, that's, that's offering a base for him, so I can't fold him forward yet. I keep folding this down. I keep folding it down. I keep folding it down, and now he's in a mummy position like this. My weight's behind him here, and it's a lot of pressure, especially if I drive my hips into him. So my weight is trapping his arms. So he can't really defend. Now I can lift up the head, forehead. I can get the collar choke here this way. I can get the rear naked choke this way. He's pretty defenseless here. And obviously for self-defense situation, right, he's open to, open to be being hit. Not a good position for him. Again, this is another position where you want to take your time, okay? So again, starting with this position, and the collar, his elbow comes up in some way, shape, or form. Sometimes, you see guys, they actually won't defend this side, and they just want to defend this side here. Same idea, I can drag it across here, and go to this side. So it doesn't matter, okay? So again, I'm here, goes to defend, push this across, and immediately I'm trapping with my body. Feeding to the cross wrist, getting my knee here close to his head. Now I can let go of this. I can fold down. Okay, I'm, I'm rotating here this way. Once I have him on his side, you'll notice my leg is here behind his back. Why? If I'm just using this and I have space here, he's not gonna like this position. He's gonna know what's going on and he's gonna just go flat to his back again. And now I have to reset the whole position. So anytime I get him on his side, I take away the space. Fold this down, roll him over. Roll him over. If he tries to lift up his hips, right? Boop, hook, hook, drive the hips down. A lot of pressure, okay? And this alone will get you some submissions because they can't really breathe very well. Correct. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so from here, we can lift and then get the choke if we need to. All right, cool guys. Um, we're going to go over a little bit, uh, you know, some other details that we need to be aware of. Um, so I just want to end with this so we don't forget this information and then we'll move on to a couple other details. All right, cool. Let's go. One, two, three. Follow us over, guys. Thank you for sacrificing your back. Let's see.
that crossroads behind his head. Keep this tight. Yes, sir. And when do I let go of this? You can let go now. Okay. Absolutely. There you go. Now, bring that elbow down. Yep. And now reset so you... No, 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 no. You stay in the mouth the whole time, Kevin. Oh, yeah. Keep your knee on the mat. Yep. Keep, you can do this. Yep. Or you can put your foot up. Come up. Relax your leg. Relax your leg. And slide your heel to here. It's his hips. Yep. There you go. All right. So now reset the position again. But you got to fold his elbow down. That's going to be his base. Yeah. Fold it down towards his belly. There you go. Get your chest behind his shoulders. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. There you go. You got it. Cool. Now, when he raises his hips up, you can put your hooks inside his legs. Yeah. Right? Okay. But from there, Dan, you felt good pressure? Yep. Good. Good, good, good. Let's right. see it, Dan. Right. Let's see it, buddy. I'm out. Start with that hand on the collar. Good, nice and deep. Yes, sir. Kevin goes to start to defend. All right, lift that up. Boom. Yes, sir. Keep turning the corner, get that cross wrist. I'll be right there with you guys. Yes, sir. Good. Pull the elbow down. Use your chest, reset, go back. Go back, yeah, and now push him forward. Do it again. Pull that elbow down towards his belly. Again, reset it. Reset it again. Yep, take your time, beautiful. Feel yep. that pressure, Kev? Yeah. Good. Nice. Good. Good. Yes, well done. Good. So now adjust your legs so it kind of comes up a little bit. Like this? Yep, exactly. Now get your chest behind his back so you can now push. Yes. Now fold his elbow down. Yep, exactly. Now take his leg. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Now you go. Keep going. No, no, no. Stay in the mount. Stay Yes, exactly. Fold him down. Little by little. You said it again. Yep, we said it again if you need to. Yes. Just being slow. There you go. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 a it's a miserable yeah. position. <laughs> yeah, and, and because oh, there are so many little micro moves, take your time. You don't want him to gain ground while you're trying to get him in that position. Cool? So, yeah. Advance without giving up ground. Yes. They asked me like, what do, you, what do you do, like, let's say that I have this one? Yes. The guy's grabbing the alpha side. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let me see. Uh, so like, here. Yep. And you're doing this. Yes. Yep. So from here, you're not really defending this okay. so much. So you're going to have to give me a, a proper defense in some way, shape, or form. So if you're here, yeah, exactly. Like, maybe this, right? But you're still opening up this lane. That's true. We can't give that space. You can't give that space. So That's you're gonna have to really, yeah, yeah, exactly. Thank you. Okay, so you can really sense. defend with it's this. It's really screen. difficult. Okay. We can go over the, what I think is, is, a, is a helpful counter, but wow. it's really tough, man. Like you see the, the guys who are really good at the Exco, Homolo, it's just a beast because there's, you're, you're not getting out without tapping. It, it just, it, it's so deep here that this is such a sharp technique that you have to defend this with everything you got. And when you defend this with everything you got here, where you're, now you're opening yourself up to maybe be folded, right? Yeah. That makes sense? Yes, sir. Thank you. Good question. So basically, the dumb defense. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> In other words, <laughs> one more word. Don't, don't listen to me. Make bust. <laughs> So let's add in a little, a few more details and then just talk about some stuff here. So again, this person really has to offer up a, a good defense, all right? Because anytime I see this lane here, it's a finish, right? Anytime this side is exposed, I'm going to catch it. So. If he's lazy with this and he's kind of defending and he's doing this in here, he's still not defending the choke. So just be aware of that. They have to give a good, competent defense here, right? Where now I can attack this side, right? Now let's talk about this position. Once I grab this cross wrist, all right, and I have him on his side, sometimes they'll open up this leg, right, here, where, look what happens. As I go to try to fold him, 
back right here. I start going this way, but this leg is acting as a good base, so I can't really roll them forward, right? So as I try to roll them forward, this leg is stopping me from getting them on his belly. That's another thing you will see. Two ways we can combat that, okay? From here, I have the cross wrist. I can always get my hand in here, push the collar straight down, feed it to this hand, and we have our choke. All right, we'll come back this way, All right? Take it back, throw this over. Or we can take away this leg. Okay, so when I have this gift wrap here, all right, I'm going to push this down. I'm gonna take this foot, okay, and I'm gonna to start to just drive this down this way. Now I'm resetting, and I go back to the same position. So put this leg out here, Victor, this way, yep. I can either fold this down here or here. Right, I'm gonna start going down to the knee, just pushing this away, try to get it back up there, Victor. See, I have a lot of leverage here to just push that knee out and away to still complete that gift wrap mommy position, right? Cool, any questions, guys? So, your initial attack has to be strong if you wanna get a thing like gift wrap or an arm lock. You have to get respect from it. If you're just switching for the sake of switching, no. Make them answer a question that you want. Pose that dilemma. You don't have a good X joke, everything's gonna fail. Is it better to grab with both when you go for the gift wrap? To connect the other hand, or can you? You, you can, you definitely can. You can like, uh, you're talking about this, like when I come in here I like kind of and go inside, inside like this. Yeah, yeah I mean, you, you can definitely come in here this way. I, I tend to try to take it out and then fold this way, I have a little bit more leverage. Um, I can also come in, you know, again, just feed right to the collar from this position. However you wanna approach it. Some guys like coming in here this way and folding here with that cross here, but sometimes it can be tough to get your hand out now. So that's why I like having this free here. So I can always pull it out a little bit easier so my hand doesn't get trapped with the pressure. Make sense? So let's work that guys, okay? One, two, three. Yes. Bumper cars, guys. There's traffic in Morocco as well. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. No, Do you 
Driving him forward like You got it. Here's the thing. As you reset this position, yeah. make sure that this isn't just coming up and you're folding him straight down. Okay. So because I, I what's going to happen is that's going to be your roadblock to finishing the choke. That's what I'm doing. So, yeah. So, when you're here, really fold his belly down. Yeah, fold it down to his belly. Sorry. Yep, keep going. Now, do it. Reset it again. Get your shoulder, get your chest behind his shoulders. There you go. Jimmy, can you get... Stay here. Jimmy, can you get your arms out? No. no. Okay. <laughs> now lift up. Yeah. There okay. You go. So now, and then I can go for. Uh huh. Boom. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's it. So just yes. Keep it. Sorry, dude. Sorry. <laughs> Jimmy's gonna have nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. So just nightmares tough. of James' pressure. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay. Breathing on your neck. Thank you. That jerk. When you do the reset, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Tuck that elbow. Now put pressure down. Right. Now, how does that feel, John? It's a little. It's more com uncomfortable, right? A lot better. Now you can lift up on the forehead, right? Because if this elbow gets left behind, this is now defending his neck. Whereas if this is down low and trapped. Now the neck is available for me. I see, yeah. Exactly. All right, thanks. Okay. Hold me back this way. All right, guys, finish up your reps. Get a quick drink, get your mouth guard. Get your grip how it's supposed to be. Giving you an advantage. Take advantage of it. Ready, go. 
position. Right back into position. Tell your friends, join, subscribe.